afternoon everyone welcome back to our channel and today we're going to ask the question is solar power in Thailand worth it is it any good let's have a butcher's Right then, it's a bit noisy today. It's incredibly hot. It's uh, touching 40 degrees here. Uh, and this is the system. So we're in the, the solar room, as we call it, stroke junk shop. Uh, we've got the heat reflective roof up there. Keeps things relatively cool in here. Um, eight batteries here. Okay, so the cost, 7,000 baht per battery eight batteries supposedly last five years if you take care of them if you're uber careful with them you can get up to ten years but we'll have to wait and see um, and when you say take care of them you've got to keep checking your nipples we all know that's important so your levels what the guy did was fit these little indicators on there if the red float drops down you need to top them up so just like your car batteries really. Okay, so that's the first thing. Now, when they initially installed it, uh, they were all in a line on this lovely rack that they made for it. But we did have one problem. Um, it initially started on a very, very cloudy day and we were pumping water with a sump pump all day long and just carrying on using everything that we normally do uh, and one of the batteries freaked out so they came straight back the next day tried to sort it out they got it up and running it wasn't a problem uh, but then the next day it wasn't running as well as it should do uh, the bloke had a bit of a fiddle rewired everything changed the alignment and touch wood everything has been perfect ever since so apart from one hiccup uh, that went over a day and a half all's good uh, a box of tricks here is the inverter so quite straightforward you've got your battery levels there so at the moment the battery is a hundred percent full and then you've got the load here and it's on one load and I know why that because the rice cooker's on. We've also got an incubator running and the fridge. Uh, once the rice is done, you can't really see it, but that little dash there will disappear. Now, even in the mornings, when you first come in here before the sun comes up, that battery has always been full. And that's what the guy was saying. He said, if you can keep it with four bars on there, if not five, then you could get up to anywhere up to 10 years on your battery. So that's what we're aiming for. So uh, it's a three kilowatt system. And the price to you, ladies and gentlemen, is 140,000 baht. Okay. Don't ask what it is in US or whatever. You, you Google converter. Uh, so they wired it all in here. So you've got your fuse box. Here we can put some lights on in here. Uh, they've run the run the earth cable to our earthing rod outside so it comes up 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 and across up onto the main roof and then you've got your panels up the top there okay so originally we were informed by another company but you couldn't install solar on this type of roof. They said it was too hot. They said they prefer to do it on this sort of roof. Um, but if we wanted to put it onto there, no problem at all. But uh, it would be slightly the wrong angle for optimum hours of sunlight. They guaranteed that there'd be no problems with the solar panels themselves, or solar cells that they call them out here and honestly not a single glitch with the panels at all we've got a couple of pigeons trying to uh, put some nesting material up there 
but it gets so hot. So the fear was that even on this raft that they put them on, that it would get too hot underneath. But 40 degrees, 39 yesterday, 40 today, not a problem at all. Uh, and I did say to him, if my solar panels melt, I'll be after him. But he's all right, he's all right. He's come back and he's done a few other bits and bobs free of charge as well. Lovely bloke. So if anyone's interested, I can forward you their contact information. If you're looking to get a system um, that incorporates um, being on grid as well, that's fine, you get it a lot, lot cheaper. If you want to run aircon and a hot shower, you need a five, uh, five kilowatt system. Um, what else could we say? The reason we've chosen this, because a lot of people knock solar, some, it seems definitely to, seems to divide opinion and people get a bit excited about it. I'm not that bothered about, uh, you know, my carbon footprint. You know, I drive a big four before, well, it's not four before, it looks like one, but, you know, it's a thirsty beast. Uh, I do recycle, but apart from that, you know, if I could hook up to the electric in town, I'd have done it, but it was going to cost over a million bar. Um, I'm not aware of any schemes that if you hook into the grid, then you get some money back. I know that. I think in Bangkok they rent roof space off you and tie that back into the grid. But um, no, we've got a standby generator, solar, we run a sump pump anywhere from twice a day to ten times a day. We haven't run it all day before off the rice farm. We've got the fridge freezer running on it. We run everything. Um, the fans of course, the washing machine, uh, the smurt, so the smurt pump from the borehole, uh, I think that's about it. Okay guys, so just to recap, 3 kilowatt system, 8 batteries, 7000 bar each, the whole system 140,000. Your batteries should last, if you don't overload them, uh, five to ten years. And you've got your inverter hooked up to your, your solar panels. I know it's only four panels up there, but they're, they're four doubles. Um, and that's it, guys. Don't overload your batteries. Keep your battery... Uh, don't, yeah, don't overload the system. And don't uh, let your batteries run down too much either. That's about it guys. Boring vlog. You can blame Nigel Evans and Mr. Box for that and a few of us you've been nagging me <laughs> to do this vlog um, and hopefully the gin is in the post. Okay guys thanks for watching. Um, don't, don't start bloody blowing that you don't like solar, you think it's not cost effective. We haven't done it because it's cost effective. We've had it because we couldn't hook up to the, the main grid. Alright, so chill yourselves, enjoy, take care. Ta da!